All right, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahshai, Ba'ashem Wakar Kodash, the bonus to the elders and apostles, elders and apostles of Great and Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in all truth and sincerity, and the brother Yahaya from the James Kings in Jamaica camp. Here once again with a quick lesson, and this one will be going into the, the first resurrection. Right now, brother basically asked me what is the first resurrection talking about, and I'm going to get into the precept to basically um um reveal the understanding of what the first resurrection is talking about. Now, this message is for the elect of the nation of Israel, right? Which nation of Israel is Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Those people are the true biblical Israelites. You understand. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. So this is book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. And it says, I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. You understand? So basically what John was seeing is that he was seeing the nation of Israel beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel ruling within the kingdom of heaven. Right? Which the kingdom of heaven is going to be upon the earth. You understand? So that is what, is, that is what John is basically seeing right here. You understand? So that's why it says that he saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Meaning that the, the rulership and dominion over the earth was given unto those people, right, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Understand? And those elect members will be reigning with our shy in the kingdom of heaven, reigning and ruling and governing. Right? And it says, But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished, meaning the two thirds. Understand, two thirds of Israel will be destroyed in the thermonuclear fire, so they will not, they will not reign with Yahweh Shai for that thousand years period, but they lived after the thousand years were accomplished, meaning that they were going to come back um, through childbirth, so to speak. You understand, and that's why I say this is the first resurrection. Now, the first resurrection is that thousand year period. Where the elect members of the children of Israel are ruling, right? So the word resurrection basically means the thing that um, rose again, right? Are rising again. What is rising again? The dominion of the children of Israel. And that's why in the, in the book of Acts it says, Shall thou will return the kingdom again to the nation of Israel? Well, it was not at that time that the kingdom was going to be, um, be restored unto Israel. But it is the time which is to come. You understand? With the takedown of Esau. Right? When the when the when Yahweh Shai burst through the clouds and he basically um subdued the nations, right? Go forth conquering all the nations, then will the children of Israel be, be established in their right um state of rulership. You understand? And says this is the first resur resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection, and such the second death had no power, but they shall be princes, Slakia, but they shall be priests of God and of, and of Yahushai, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So that thousand years period is basically talking, uh, is, is pretty much talking about the dominion and rulership of the children of Israel in the kingdom of heaven. Alright, so I'm going to get some supporting precept. So this is the book of um, Micah, chapter 4, verse 8. It says what? See, it says the restoration of Zion. So I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, In that day, said the Lord, I will assemble her that halted, and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that... I have afflicted, you understand, speaking about the, the children of Israel, mainly the elect of the children of Israel, is going to gather them. And the truth is what's gathering the, 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 the elect of the children of Israel right now. 
right? That's why we go out there in the highways and the byways, basically prophesying this word. Understand? And I will make her that halted a remnant, and her that was cast far off a strong nation, and the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth even forever. And thou, O tower of the flock, right, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, right? The word dominion comes from the word domini, which means Lord. So the first rulership shall come unto the elect of the children of Israel. Understand? That's why it says, And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion. That stronghold is in representation of the elect members. You understand? That remnant that was basically gathered by the word. It says, Unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, which is the same as the first resurrection. You understand? That first rulership, that thousand year period, the kingdom um, shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. You understand? So when the gathering has been com completed and the elect seal and the, the son of the heavenly father comes and subdue the nation and the elect members are chosen and, and basically saved, right? Then we are basically, that's why the scripture tells say, new Jerusalem coming down from heaven, right? Because we are going to be in those chariots and we're going to come down from, from those chariots to basically rule the earth. You understand when it says new jerusalem it basically means afresh right afresh in terms of the restoration um um in terms of the restoration sense you understand meaning that we are going to be ruling in in a fresh period a fresh era so to speak right jumping from there to the book of um let me see isaiah isaiah chapter 14 Isaiah 14 and 1, right? It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of, of Jacob. You understand? So we are going to be established and we're going to be set in our own land, right? From there, we're going to jump to, to um, Isaiah chapter 2, right? It says what? The word that, that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Right? So the mountain is in representation of the Lord's government. Right? So the, the, the heavenly father government beginning with Yahushai and King David coming down to King David. And the, 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 the 12, right, as it's mentioned in the book of um, Matthew, right, those are the ones that's basically going to be in the state of rulership, you understand, of the ruling governing body of, of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right, it says, and it shall come to pass that in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain, so that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai government is going to be established above all the other governments of the earth then basically the um we call it now the moabites the ammonites and all of them other nations eh, right them are going to basically place in their own land after the thousand year period right but isa isa is one that is going to be completely eradicated as according to the book of obediah um one fifteen says and shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations shall flow unto it right and many people shall go and say come he and let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of god to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, right? And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So 
and O house of Jacob, come he and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Right? So in that day, when the kingdom of Israel is, re is established, right, all nations is basically going to be subdued and they are going to be they are going to be in um they are going to basically pay homage homage to the nation of Israel. Right? They're going to become tributaries. They're going to become they're going to have a period of slavery, right? All of that is going to happen under the nation of, of Israel um dominion, right? So with that I hope that this lesson was edifying unto the elect of the children of Israel. Um I wanna say Kalalal Yahweh Bashim Shai Bashim Kodash. The bonus to the elders and apostles of Grimstone and citations all brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and truth. Shalom.